As Bugs Bunny said, if you make the left turn at Albuquerque, you'll end up here. It's Pismo Beach and all the clams we can eat. Pismo is a classic retro California beach town located north of Santa Barbara, just south of San Luis Obispo. Our hotel for this trip is the Oxford Suites on the south side of town adjacent to the 101 freeway. Just off of the pool, our room is a two-room suite. The living room has a corner unit sofa that folds out into a big bed, a flat screen TV, and a wet bar with fridge. The bedroom features a king size bed, another flat screen TV, a door out to the courtyard, and a bathroom with a tub. Although the hotel has accessible rooms with roll-in showers, we opted for a regular room on this trip. All the restaurants in town had long lines and waits for dinner, so we drove to nearby Avala Beach to one of our old standbys, Fat Cats. Fat Cats is a diner on the hillside next to the old pier in San Luis Bay. My mom and dad have breakfast for dinner, French toast and chicken fried steak, while I have a roast beef sandwich. All are good and the view of the ocean from the outdoor dining area is pretty nice too. Yeah. We take a little scenic drive through the rebuilt town of Avala Beach. An oil company's tanks leaked and a court settlement led to them tearing down the town, cleaning up the pollution and then rebuilding it. This downtown is less than 15 years old, although it dates back to 1890. The next morning we go hiking near the beach in the southwest corner of Pismo Beach. The scenery is nice and the walkways are accessible, but we're here for something else. Each winter, one of the world's great migrations ends here. Thousands of orange monarch butterflies fly up to 2,000 miles to spend the winter in a small grove of eucalyptus trees here. I'm going over to take a closer look. Looking up, the sky is filled with butterflies. They clump together on the trees to mate and stay warm. We leave Pismo to go to our next destination down the coast. We're in the mountain town of Ojai, located 12 miles inland from Ventura.
Just outside of town is this little white restaurant in the country. We've come to Bocalli's to have pizza. They also have vineyards and make their own wine. Outside, the tables are accessible and the views are amazing. Here's our pizza. It looks delicious. You want to dig in that pizza, Tim? Yep. All right. Which piece do you want? I want this piece. No, you get the pieces with the jalapenos. Okay, Tim, you're going to have to tell me how this pizza tastes, okay? It's good. Pretty good pizza? Mm -hmm. All right. It is delicious. You have to see the crust on this pizza. When it opens up, it's like so soft and fluffy, just like a really good piece of bread. They show all the layers in there. I think they fold it over, actually fold it under to create the lift of like bread. Do you think they use the same kind of stuff they use for their bread basket? Bread? No, I don't think it's the same kind they use for the bread. It's just the but it's like real flaky, almost like layers. One more look at the beautiful neighborhood around Bocalli's before we call it a day. Now it's just a scenic winding drive through the hills as we head home. I hope you had a good time on this trip. I'm Tim Music for The World on Wheels.